Welcome to your video on adding and subtracting radicals. So we just finished working on how to simplify radicals. And now we're going to look at how to combine um, one or more radical expressions. So we're going to start with two simple steps. Um, the first thing that you're going to want to do is to look at your square roots and break any of them down that are not in simplest form. And so that just entails making a factor tree like what we had been working on in the previous practice. Once you've broken everything down to simplest form, we are basically going to combine like terms or combine like radicals. So in other words, um, square roots of 2s can go with other square roots of 2s. Uh, square root of 3 can go with other square roots of 3. But you couldn't mix and match the square root of 2 with the square root of 3. So let's take a look at some examples. Our first example, we have two things that we're trying to combine by subtraction. If you check out the radical, the square root of 5, um, they are alike, but they are not radicals that can be broken down at all. And so we can leave them like they are, and we can actually just combine them. And when we combine them, we just look at the coefficient. So it's like I have three square roots of 5, and I'm taking 7 of them away. So that leaves us with negative 4 square root of 5. That's all we have to do with this one. That is considered the simplest answer. In our second example, we are actually combining three radicals. And the first two are ones that we're going to have to break down by making a tree. So we can do that just from the problem. Um, we look at 8, and we can break that down to 4 and 2. And then we can break the 4 down to 2 and 2. You'll notice we have a pair of 2s, and then we have a singleton 2. So the square root of 8 gets written as 2 times the square root of 2. 98, we can break down. That's an even number, so we can divide by 2. And if we divide 98 by 2, we get 49. 49 can get broken down to 7 and 7. Again, you'll see that we have a pair of 7s and a singleton 2. And so we take out the 7 and the square root of 2. Now notice the symbol in front of the square root of 98. That symbol is attached to that term. So in between those, we're just going to bring down the plus sign. Likewise, you see the minus sign in front of the square root of 2 at the end. We're going to bring that down. And you could even put in um, that invisible negative 1 if you would like. Uh, the reason we didn't do anything with that last radical is that 2 is broken down as far as it can go. So now if you look at the terms that we have left, you'll notice that they are, in fact, all alike. They all have the same radical. So it's very similar to what we used to do with polynomials. We could only combine things that had the same variable or the same variable and exponent. It's the same thing with radicals. So it's like we have 2 square roots of 2 plus 7 square roots of 2, which would give us 9 square roots of 2. But then we have to take 1 away, so we end up with 8 square root 2. And that would be your final answer. All right, let's just take a look at one last problem. We have negative 4 square root of 20. And 20 is a number that can be simplified. So if we start breaking it down, it's an even number. So we can divide by 2. And that would give us 2 and 10. And then 10 can break down to 2 and 5. And you'll notice that we have a pair of 2s. Now remember what happens when we have a number out in front of the radical. So in this first one, we have a negative 4 out in front already. That's just going to come down and stay outside. The 2 that had the pair is going to be brought outside with the negative 4. And then the 5, which was all alone, is going to stay in. And we will simplify that in just a little bit. Um, the other radical has a negative sign in front of it, so we have to bring that down. The 34 is going to stay outside. And then 5 is a prime number, so it can't be broken down at all. So we're just going to bring that along. So now we just have to simplify that left radical um, just by multiplying. So negative 4 times 2 on the outside gives us negative 8 square root of 5. Take away 34 square root of 5. And again, we just combine those. So it's like doing a negative 8 plus a negative 34. So we get negative 42 square root 5. And that is our final answer. This concludes your video on adding and subtracting radicals. And you may now begin your practice.